Goddesses, it's your girl Dion T. Priestess Ruff Sloan, and I use creativity, spirituality, and productivity to help you live your best life at any age. Today is Magic Monday, and what that means is that we are going to take the elemental forces of creation oracle and check in on all of those elemental realms to get extra support. Doesn't that feel good to have some know that you have some extra support already? So we're gonna start, of course, by coming into our body and taking a nice deep breath. <sighs> and just wherever this video finds you, allow yourself to sink into your body and just check in. How are you doing physically? How are you feeling? How are you feeling emotionally? How are you feeling mentally? How are you feeling energetically? How are your energy levels right now? And how are you feeling spiritually? How's your spirits? Uh, and then whatever you notice, don't try and change it yet. Just try and be with it and notice it and just give yourself some love for all of the ways that you have carried yourself to be in this moment where we are together. Gorgeous, you are doing a fantastic job. I just want you to know that. All right, so again, we've just checked in elementally and um, each of the realms correspond with the elements, the basic elements of, of earth, water, air, fire, and spirit. And each of those realms connect with a different element in the body. So earth obviously is physical. So tuning into this question, what support do I need this week physically? And so I'm going to give the earth part of the Elemental Forces of Creation Oracle a quick shuffle. What do we need physically this week? And so the card that came up is containment. So maybe you have a bunch of things going on. You feel like you're running in five different million ways, um, different places. You've got all sorts of different things going on. You want to bring the, all of those things in and bring them into a nice container. You also might want to have some containment around your self-care routines. I know for myself, sometimes I will get so busy taking care of other people that I forget to take care of myself. And so I've really made a conscious effort to keep some containment around appointments that I have with myself to do my journaling, to do my my dancing and my um, or my yoga or whatever it may be that I'm needing to do to take care of me. So containment look out for ways that you need to contain yourself in your physical body during this week and now we're going to check in with water and ask water what support do we need emotionally for this week and i'm just giving these cards a quick shuffle regeneration regeneration so perhaps you need to connect with your emotions and give yourself time for a good cry maybe you need a good laugh maybe you are so connected and so busy that you just really haven't been you feeling overwhelmed so giving yourself the space to be able to really just regenerate your emotional state and notice how you want to feel that's one of the great tools that I like to use um, when I'm planning out my week in my Hobonichi I have a little box in there that says how do I want to feel this week and so I'll put one or two ways that I really want to feel down and then as things come up during my week I'll ask myself okay I want to feel excited this week so how can I do whatever it is that I have to do in a way that helps me feel the way I want to feel that helps to enliven my energy and rejuvenate my spirits because I have put how I want to feel up in the forefront all right, so now we're going to check in with the air realm, and this is the mental realm again. So how do I need to support, how do we need to support ourselves mentally in the coming week? 
Give those a quick shuffle, pull out a card. Energetic chords. So energetic chords are a really fun thing to uh, notice. Anytime you have any kind of interaction with somebody, there is a little bit of, of corded energy. You might notice this when you, you'll notice this especially when you have an argument with somebody and you, hours later, you're still thinking about it or you're still fuming about it. That's an energetic chord. It could be an energetic chord to something that felt like it was tremendous it could be just an energetic cord to people who are no longer part of your lives. So when you notice these energetic cords, you want to be mindful to bring that energy back. Keep your energy in the present. Pull it back from the past. And you can do this by simply just connecting in with your body and then visualizing this energy cord connected to someone else and then just unplugging that energy cord from them and recalling it back into your body. You can just notice, I like to do it with my eyes closed and just kind of pull it back in, like notice where on my body that energy cord is connected and just kind of pull it back in allowing that energy to reassemble in my body. So that way I have the mental capacity to be able to use for the things that I really want to use in the here and now. Another great way to reconnect and um, with those energy cords is to journal. Like get it all down on paper so that way you can see it in a different way. That helps to recall your energy back to yourself. All right, so now we're going to check in with fire and see how we can support our energy levels this week. Hmm. And warmth. Oh, this is a big one because it's really cold right now at the time that I'm filming this. And so um, how can you bring more warmth to yourself? I know I like to do things like have a candle lit. Even during the day when it's sunny outside, I like to have a candle lit. That just reminds me of bringing the warmth into myself. Having cups of tea. Anything, you know, sometimes even just pulling out a blanket. Right now we're still in where the light is starting to grow because we are we have moved past the darkest time of the year. But the, the night is still kind of dark. And so I like to have my candles lit. I like to put the blanket on. Um, I am a big uh, yarn fiber person and I love to knit. I love to crochet. Those things bring me warmth when I'm working on a project for someone else or if I'm I'm just working on a project for myself that brings me warmth the warmth of connection to someone else or the warmth of knowing that I am doing something kind for myself so give yourself some warmth this week all right and finally we want to check in with spirit and ask how can we support ourselves spiritually this week life purpose. So this one is really fun because life purpose, it's not about it, it, life purpose can be different depending upon what age and stage you are in life. My purpose right now is to bring the the elemental awareness into people's consciousness and share it with you. So working on your life purpose and really being conscious about how all of the different roles and, and the different things that you do in your life can contribute to your life's purpose can really be uplifting and inspiring. Or it can really be enlightening to see, okay, this is not really in alignment with what I feel my life purpose is. So what do I want to do with that now? All right, dear heart. So give yourself containment in the physical realm. Give yourself some regeneration in the water um, emotional realm. Give your energetic cords a tug back into your body in the mental air realm. Give yourself some warmth in the fire energy realm and tune in and check in with your life purpose and allow that to uplift the entire the entirety of you. I hope you enjoyed this Magic Monday. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and do make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel and um, I will see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.